morning everyone happy monday i've done my glam early this morning just because i've got so much to do this week so i thought i would get most of it done today this is all of the jazz handmade packages it's all in that room as well i'll flip you guys around look at all of that that's around, I think that's around 600 parcels. I did send around two sacks of these on Friday morning because we ended up getting like just under 100 done. Um, but yeah, in total we did 746 orders since last Friday, which is insane. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting on the postman or post lady um, to come and collect. I did warn them that there's quite a few parcels, so I think they have ordered a bigger van, but yeah, that is what we're waiting on. I'm about to go and film a little Verge Girl try on haul. I got some really cute pieces for my Instagram. Um, like I said last week, Black Friday week is like super busy um, because obviously all these brands are having Black Friday sales. I know Stax is having a Black Friday sale this Thursday and Friday. I think everything's like 60% off um, and I don't think you need to use a code from memory. Um, yeah, so many brands are having Black Friday sales, so I'm super busy um, working with brands on that. But yeah, that's what I'm waiting on this morning. I'm going to go to the gym this afternoon. I think I might even go to Pilates if they've got any bookings in, but I'll go regardless to get my steps in. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I got some content done this morning. I just took a few photos for a brand and yeah, I'm just waiting on the postman. So I'm going to actually do a haul of the jewelry. So I just realized I didn't even do a try on haul. <laughs> like leading up to the launch. So I'm going to do that on my stories today. Wearing the 14 to 16 link chain. And I love wearing it like this because of my little like love heart tag. Um, and then you can just like do it up on the 14 inch. So it's like a choker and then it goes down a bit. I love it. So yeah, I'll do a try on haul and I will chat with you guys later. The postman has been, he has cleared the hallway of all the packages. I just got some work done, filmed a little try on haul. I also got two packages in the mail. So I thought I would open them for you guys. I just had a, um, one of those Chobani flip things. Shit, I'm clumsy. Um, I'm not really that hungry. Peter just went to the gym. I'm going to go meet him at Woolies after because we need to get some stuff. Okay, hold on. I'll go get the packages. Okay, I got a parcel from Nutribullet. Um, so they messaged me on Instagram like two weeks ago because they have just launched their new one. I can't find my scissors. I never actually owned a Nutribullet before. I've only ever owned the Ninja. And like I said in my last vlog, it's so fucking loud. Like it literally is so loud. Sometimes Peter's like, warn me when you use it because he has to block his ears. He's got sensitive ears, but like, it's so loud. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they have sent me their new magic bullet kitchen express and I've got a thermo mix coming. Oh my God. Okay. So all in one mini food processor and blender space saving multitasker, preps and blends. I'm going to make a smoothie after gym. Oh, am I going to the gym? I don't know. I'm going to make a smoothie anyways, and I'll obviously let you guys know. This is it. From all of us at Nutribullet, thanks so much for supporting our launch. That's so cool. It's a little like lanyard. All right, let's open it up. Let's see how big it is. Apparently it's mini. Okay, it actually is quite small. That is so cute. So there's that. I might put you down here. By the way, I'm wearing Verge Girl, for those that are gonna ask. Oh my God, it actually is mini. Look how small it is. Like compared to my Ninja, it's freaking so good. Okay, so I would say like the cups are quite small. Like this one's a medium in the Ninja. And then this is like a, like it's just a lot skinnier. I guess so it's like yeah it is quite a bit smaller um so it comes with those two well it is a mini one so obviously and then this little like um 
food processor, food cutter upper, blender type thing. But I'll definitely try it today and I'll let you guys know. I need to water my plants. Oh, have I even showed you? An update on my plants. Let me get some water. <laughs> I still haven't put them inside yet because I don't know where to put them. And like, obviously you need some sort of like natural light. Like, I guess we could put it there, but I don't know. It just seems very odd just in the middle of like nowhere. But here it is. It's just outside for now. How cute. I just water it once a week. There's my avocado seed, but I think it's like dying. And like, that looks like actual sand, not soil. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But there's my little plant. It's super cute. I'm so glad I got that pole just to keep it all intact. But yeah, right now it's just kind of like sitting outside. Oh my God, it's so hot outside. So yeah, I'm gonna go and maybe take off my makeup because I don't need it on anymore and pack all this stuff away. Okay, we just got back from, oh, was this in the whole time? Trust. Um, we just got back from Woolies. I don't know why you guys like seeing what I got from Woolies, but I'm gonna show you. Fro Pro, got some Uncle Ben's rice. Obsessed with these. Olive oil spray, a mango, some mints. Toilet paper. But like, why would you want to see the toilet paper? Some more of these, because I am addicted. Some more barramundi. Peaches. Sun-dried tomatoes. Pepita. Some more rice. Ew, tuna. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's salmon. Yuck, even worse. Asparagus, I don't eat that. ABC sauce is what we put on barramundi and rice. And you got three. And that's it, how boring. Good morning, everyone. I woke up a bit earlier today so I can pack some parcels that I got overnight. I did some yesterday as well that I got last night. Um, I look so tired, wow. I tanned last night. Also, my butterfly collection with Cara Lee are coming back December 3rd, I think on the Thursday, first week of December on the Thursday. Um, and we have so much more stock, so hopefully no one misses out this time, but I will remind you guys on Instagram as well. Like I said, I just got up to pack the orders so I can take them with me because I'm gonna go to Pilates in about half an hour and then I'll drop these off at the post office. I've got so much to do and upload today, it's a joke. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is probably my busiest like one of the busiest weeks um, of the year, pretty much with all the Black Friday sales. So I'm gonna go and clean up this space and then head to Pilates. I'm gonna test out the magic bullet and let you guys know how it goes. powerful as the ninja but it is so freaking loud sometimes it like hurts my ears but you can kind of see the difference and then the ninja does come with like even bigger ones as well like that whereas this one just comes with two small ones but it blended really well and it wasn't as noisy it was good i can't wait to use the um the other component to like dice uh, onions and stuff. We'll see how that goes. Don't ask me why I'm sitting on the floor, but I'm gonna unbox some of my parcels. That is first handmade. Okay, first one is from, I never know how to pronounce this brand. Mason D. Sabra. I think they're a phone case company or they do like personalized, um, Stuff. I'm excited. Oh my god, that's actually such a nice color. That's so cute. It's like a leather, I think it is like a leather, like Safiano leather. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, 
leather. That's so cool. It's got my name on it. And then this one. Oh my God, is this for the... Wait, I think this one's for the new phone because this one looks a bit bigger, slightly. Wait, yes. Because I am gonna get the new, um, is it the 12? 12 Pro? So this one's the phone that I currently have, which is up there. And then the 12 Pro. Ooh, okay. Cute. I think this is their like Christmas collection. <laughs> Candy cans. I used to eat these in like grade seven all the time. Is there another one? No. So this is their, I actually have someone right now. Slay all day. It smells minty. How cute is the packaging? I'm going to try it. Oh my God, it smells like peppermint. It actually reminds me of that um, extra gum, the green one. That's so cute. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Just when I thought I didn't have enough. Thank you so much. So these are called Burning Bear um, or Bar, Burning Bar Cocoa Soy Candles. That smells so nice. I have <laughs> so many of these. Oh, this one's cute. Thank you so much. That's so cute. Such a cool gift idea as well if you don't know what to get people. Oh my God. I didn't even know Burberry did makeup. Did you know that? Burberry did makeup. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your glasses, <laughs> your glasses brand. Wow. So luxe. Oh, whoa. Okay, that is so pretty. Oh my God. Let's see what this is. I think this is a liquid lipstick. Oh my God, so nice. Oh, this is cute. It's like a bright coral. <laughs> Riley stories. Oh my God, I did not even know that Burberry did makeup unless it's new, hence why they've sent it. <laughs> so now you do. Thank you so much. That is so freaking cool. I just found one of my cups on my coffee table. Cute. I think it may be Mecca. Okay, it's saying this way up. I have been seeing Influencers receive this. Oh my god. Wait, Peter, Kylie sent me some skincare myself. Look. Kylie Jenner sent me this. <laughs> so, oh, I'm trying not to blind you. There we go. So, Kylie skin is now being stocked at Mecca. I'm guessing it's it from Mecca. Yeah, it's from Mecca, not Kylie. Yeah, well, I can yeah. pretend that she wanted to send it to me, you know? Um, okay, wow. Let's... Okay, let me just reorganize this one sec. It may have just been a bit jumbled in transit. Look at this. What do you mean? Thank you so much, Kylie. <laughs> Face moisturizer, vitamin C serum. I actually need one of them. Milk toner. I've tried this. Did I? I can't remember who sent it. Did I buy it? No, I don't think I bought it. I think they must have sent it to me because I did receive um, this already. Um, and then the face scrub, which I don't have. But how like extra is this PR package? Like I'm definitely keeping this for the mirror. Like just to have when I'm like filming or something, I can just have that there and use the mirror. But like... That is the most extra PR I've ever received. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mecca. Guys, oh my God, I just made the perfect pancakes ever. Look how good they look in a coffee. I'm just about to quickly eat this and then go to PT, but I will chat with you guys when I get home. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. When am I ever gonna get the days right? Um, I just finished PT, had a shower. I've got some stuff to film today, so I need to blow dry my hair. I'm just gonna have a protein shake, I think. I really enjoyed the one that I had yesterday. I put like banana, mixed berries, 
um, the Honeycomb Muscle Nation Protein, and then just water and ice, and it was delicious. So I'm gonna have another one of them because um, my bananas are spotty and they're like amazing to eat right now. Um, yeah, I don't really have that much to update. Like I said, like this week is literally the busiest week and I got so many orders last night from Jazz Handmade. So thank you so much. I think I woke up to like 14 or something. So maybe someone may have posted or like, I don't know, some of you might be a little bit late to the party, but thank you so much. So I was doing that last night and then this morning when I woke up because I went to go to the post office to quickly um, drop them off so you guys can get them ASAP. But yeah, not really much else to update. I'm just, yeah, like I said, I'm about to do some filming. I really wanna clean the house today, so I don't think I'll, I'll be like vlogging that much. So yeah, I'm gonna go and make a protein shake and then get started on the housework. morning happy thursday i'm loving this outfit that i'm wearing i'm obsessed with like pink and brown tones it's from lorna jane um but yeah i'm obsessed with this outfit i'm so excited to wear it i'm about to go to pilates i'm gonna have some oats i actually haven't had them in a few days like am i feeling okay what did i have yesterday oh yeah i was having protein pan those protein pancakes with banana because i wanted to use up my bananas because they were going like a little bit like borderline black and peter's like are you going to throw them in the bin? Like you couldn't believe that I was eating them. And I was like, they're spotty and black, like just how I like them. But they were getting like a bit too mushy. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to like finish them, but I'm just going to have oats. I, yeah, I've been really busy with packing orders. Like I've been getting about 25 a day. Like last night I was busy doing that this morning. I just finished another couple. I think I got like four overnight, but yeah, like every day since the launch, I've been getting like 25 packages, which is insane. Um, we still do have quite a bit of stock. The only thing that we don't really have much of are the Huggies, like the nine carat Huggies are going pretty quick, um, but everything will be restocked uh, on December 4 with the Christmas collection. I was gonna do like a little drop of the Huggies, but then I thought to save in shipping costs, like if people are gonna buy something else, like rather than just buying like two Huggies or I don't know, a couple of huggies and they can just shop all at once so just to give those people an opportunity to save on shipping so um yeah i'm just gonna drop everything december 4 so all huggies will be restocked all ch like pretty much everything they'll be um stocked so i'm gonna make some oats and head to pilates just got home I ended up getting the new iPhone because it was in stock so I ended up getting the gold 12 max yeah 12 max Peter got an iPhone as well he got the blue one and then he also got an Apple watch as well so I'll show you guys that and I'll give you guys a little review I probably won't unbox it tonight because I don't have a screen protector for it so I'll probably just wait until I get one of them and then set it up, but I will, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it is. But yeah, that's pretty much what we did today. Now we're gonna go to Nando's and have our little weekly Nando's outing. And yeah, I've got some orders to pack actually, which I'll do when I get home. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I feel like this week has gone so fast. I've been like the busiest person ever. But I did go to my PT this morning, 
So that's all done. I just filmed some stuff this morning and then I went to my PO box, but like, I don't think you're ready for this delivery. I have been so excited. I might just put you down here so it's a bit better. I have been so excited for this delivery, you guys. Are you ready? I don't think you are. What do you mean? Custom Nike Air Forces with fucking cherubs on them. Sorry. These are my new favorite shoes. I have, how many pairs of shoes do I have from them? I think they've done two. Was it two or one? No, two. I've got the Dior ones. Yes. No. Dior ones, Fendi ones, and then now these ones. And they also do um, Apple Watch bands. So everything that they make um, is made out of authentic designer goods. So like the Fendi um, Nikes that I have are made from like an actual Fendi bag that he ripped up. And all like this strap is a Louis bag. Like, I don't even know how he can bring himself to do that. But I guess that's his business. Um, but yeah, he makes the Apple Watch straps. And he did include a message saying that they are available now. Like, they meant to be just custom for me because I asked him. And he was like, that's something that I could do. So he said that they um, are available for everyone now. So his Instagram is Converted Kicks. He is based in the UK, though. So it's a UK-based company. But I will be wearing these today for sure. Thank you so much, Kane. You are amazing. So yeah, I'm going to wear those today. Definitely. I need to go get some scissors. Oh, by the way, this jumpsuit is from <laughs> Princess Polly. I feel like my whole bloody wardrobe is either Boohoo or Princess Polly. <laughs> I look bald as well. The Little Nutter. Hey Jazz, I'm a 19 year old from Sydney who loves health, wellness and food. You inspire me with all your business success that I too hope to achieve. These are some treats made from premium locally sourced ingredients, dairy free, industrial oil free, refined sugar free and no nasties. We even make our nut butter. I'm a sucker for peanut butter. Oh my God. Nutty granola, peanutty professor nutter balls. Yum, they're like clean treats. What's this? Hello Sunshine Nut Free. Little balls. Macros are good too. Yum. Snowballs, dates, hazelnuts, cashews, almonds, oats, apricots. And then this is a um like a granola mix. Thank you so much. I'll definitely try this in my oats tomorrow and I might have a sneaky little um ball when I get back because I'm just about to leave to go and get my skin done but thank you so much for thinking of me amazing oh my god cute oh the cookie crumbled oh look at these flowers do I have a pot to put these in oh my gosh okay so Gracie and Slumber Society collaborated these are so soft. Wow. On some PJs. Oh my God. These are perfect for summer. They are so soft. Look at them. <gasps> so cute. I ended up um, ordering a medium. So I'll try them on later on and let you know how they fit. But I love like my pajamas not being super tight. That looks like the perfect size. How cute. I'm going to wash them and wear them straight away. Oh my God. Thank you so much for sending. Okay, last but not least, I got an amazing package from one of my friends on the Gold Coast. She actually does my eyelashes, bulletproof lashes. I used to also do my makeup from her studio, so I rented a space in bulletproof. Um, so yeah, she's just launched her new business, which I'm super proud of her for doing. Her husband, Ads, is like an amazing artist, like literally incredible he was a tattoo artist but i think he recently quit to help her with bulletproof because she's got another business um she pretty much sells like eyelash extensions to lash techs they're incredible by the way um and she just launched her new phone case company called varsity 
you guys. These are incredible. And may I just add, these are all hand done, hand drawn by ads. Like he draws them all on his iPad and then makes them into a phone case. How amazing is this? And she's also given me a discount code. So I'll put that on the screen as well. I'm pretty sure it's Jazz15, she said, for 15% off. But look at this phone case. I am going to put this on because this is for my new phone. This is the uh, 12 Pro Max. But she did give me a like one for the 11 Pro, which is what I have. I can't speak. What do you mean? I low-key kind of want this one in like the bigger phone because I love it. Like, look at that. And they're like really sturdy as well. So it's like a silicon... Um, it's like a silicon base case, but it's like, it feels so like firm and sturdy. And she sent me some other styles as well. This style, she has so many, you can actually like customize your name on it as well. Um, and then this one as well, if you like a clear case moment. And this one's probably one of my favorites. I can't wait to put on my new phone, ready? Butterflies, it's like blue, blue and pink butterflies. How gorgeous is that? So that's definitely gonna go on my new phone when I set it up, which will probably be tomorrow because apparently Peter did, um, he ordered some like tempered glass screen protectors, even though like I could have just got it yesterday when I was in store, but he was like, whatever. But yeah, he ended up ordering them online. So they should be here either tomorrow or Sunday, I think. So as soon as I get them, I'll chuck them on, put the case on and I'll do like an unboxing and I'll do like a little camera um, review because apparently like I've heard mixed reviews on the cameras on the new 12, like for example, like Instagram videos, like I've heard a couple influencers like say that the camera's shit. I feel like Instagram just needs to update and then it would be like HD. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like. So yeah, mixed reviews on the camera apparently, but apparently the back camera on the new phone is incredible and even like the video, um, like videoing on it. So, but yeah, that's just everything that I got today. Like I said, I'm going to Erin Aesthetics. My skin has cleared up a little bit. Did I tell you guys that I got my period? No, I didn't. I told my story. So if you've been following or if you've been watching my vlogs, you probably know that I went off the pill early August just because I wanted to see what my skin would react like. Um, I did try and get off the pill around two and a half years ago and my skin fled the fuck up. Like it was fucked up. Um, and I was so self-conscious and I just went straight back on it because I was like, I can't deal. I don't want to go to events. I don't want to leave. My skin was fucked. So I went back on the pill, um, and then it cleared up. And so I was like, okay, you know what? Back then my diet probably wasn't the best. I wasn't like obviously as healthy as I am now. So I wanted to see what my skin would react like or what my body would react like coming off it now. So I did in August and I... I was fine. Um, I probably didn't start getting like hormonal breakouts until like maybe like the past two months so recently and it's only here. It's only around my mouth and I feel like I only really get them once a month when I'm meant to get my period. Anyway, so I got my period exactly 30 days after I stopped the pill. So I was like, that's weird because I've read so many like forums and stuff online saying that girls didn't get their period for like four or five months even like that's how long it took for their body to like regulate themselves again. So I was like, you know, preparing for that. And then I woke up and I got it and I was like, the fuck? And I wasn't in any pain because apparently I heard that like people's first period is apparently the most painful thing ever. And like, I didn't get any cramps, nothing. It was just like a normal period. It wasn't even heavy. So I was like, okay, like good. Like in a way, thank fuck. And then I just didn't get it for four months. So yeah. Last time I got it was August, September, October, no, end of November, well, three months. Um, and I got it like four days ago, um, unexpectedly, because I just I just forgot that I just didn't get it. Like I literally just forgot about periods in general. So I got it and I was like, oh my God, like I got my period. I didn't really get any cramps, but I did feel a bit bloated that day. I felt a bit run down, tired, um, like not myself, um, which is like understandable because period. Um, but yeah, like I got it after like, yeah, three, three and a half months of not getting it, being on the pill, but I can definitely notice now that my skin, especially because I'm on my period has gotten 
like a little bit worse. I do have a bit of powder on at the moment because I'm going out, but um, yeah, it's de my skin's definitely not as like the best it's ever been. But I have heard that it does eventually clear up once your body you know, regulates itself. So I'm going to hear it out. If it does seem to get worse, I will probably go maybe to a naturopath or something like that. Um, but I, I feel like getting my regular like skin peels and stuff like that, Erin Aesthetics has definitely helped. Like literally after I go for a session, whether it's a skin peel or needling, my skin the next day just feels so smooth. Like they just get everything out. And um, yeah, I just feel less congested when they like do do their thing so i'm about to go today i didn't go last week because i was busy um so i had to reschedule it but yeah i just feel like i just chatted for like 30 minutes just then um but yeah that's a little update on the pill and my skin i need to wash my hair but i'm just gonna do that tomorrow because i need to take some pics but um yeah that's a little update i feel like i haven't really been vlogging as much this week but i've had so much on like i said either last vlog or at the beginning of this vlog, Black Friday fucking sales. I swear to God, every brand is like, promote. Um, not that I'm complaining or anything, but like, obviously like every brand wants to, you know, promote and like get on board with it and share the word. So I've been busy with that. Um, and yeah, I've been still getting at least 20 to 30 packages or parcels a day. So I've got to juggle that. Plus I've got to juggle customer service. I'm getting people wanting to exchange sizes of rings and like, people asking where their order is, blah, blah, blah. So I've got to like do that. Plus my emails, I'm just like, ah, I need to clone myself. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I'm going to need some help next year. Definitely juggle, you know, the two businesses. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to really um, say. So I will, yeah, I'll probably chat with you when I get home. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. I feel like I haven't really been on the vlog much this week. Or maybe I have. I don't know. I haven't even started editing it, so that's probably why it doesn't feel like it's going to be a long one. But like I, like I said yesterday, I've been like the fucking busiest person in the world. I also did add a bit of uh, pink to my hair. I need like some space for me to rest this on like that's just not working is it anyways um obviously my life is a busy mess well it's not a mess but it's fucking busy since starting my new business which I am so grateful for like I literally like I get like I said I've been getting like 20 plus orders a day just because we do have so much stock um and we are restocking by the way on Friday so everything that is out of stock on the website right now will be restocking. And that includes like the cuffs, sterling silver, studs, um, yeah, everything. So yeah, I need to change my battery. Cool. Um, we're going to go to the shops to finish our Christmas shopping today. Peter's just going to the gym. I'm having a day off because I have at least like one to two days off a week um, where I just don't go to the gym. But yeah, we'll be at the house anyways. I just need to pack all of these orders. I still need to um, print off one, two, three, four, five more from when I got up. But yeah, it's been fucking hectic like in my life right now. And like I said, I'll definitely look into getting some help next year. We're definitely looking at getting a little warehouse or studio or something because we have just definitely outgrown this room. Like we just need at least two to three tables, especially when we like we have help when we're like packing when we launch. Because like I said, I'm literally just in a spare room of my house and it's not like the biggest room in the world. It'd just be nice to have like just extra storage. Um, I already have like a Pinterest board on jewelry warehouse storage ideas and I'm like so excited um it's basically like a wall of this and it just looks so pretty anyways I'm so excited to be doing that but we'll definitely look into that next year when we get back from Queensland um but yeah I've just like I said I've just been like flat out um this week or like even since we restocked but obviously it's an amazing thing and I'm super excited to 
see where um, this little biz takes me. But um, yeah, I just thought I would update you guys. I'll put you guys on a little time lapse and I will pack some of your orders. Finally setting up my new phone. How pretty. Oh my god. So I ended up getting the gold. There's no screen protect. Oh, is this the screen protector? Okay, yeah. Let me just go get my case because knowing me, I'm gonna freaking drop it. Okay, tuck it straight into here. Oh my god, it's so pretty this case. Obsessed. Okay, I need to go plug it in. That's the size difference. It's not you can't really tell. Oh, you kind of can. Very slightly, but this one's definitely more squarish, but you can't really tell with the case on it because it makes it smooth. Okay, I've set up my new phone. I'm gonna show you my new shoes that I got as well. Um, okay, I've set it up. I'll show you the size difference. So this one here is my old phone, which is the 11 Pro, and then this one's the new one. I did do some stories, like I just did like plain stories, no filter with the 11 and then plain story filters with the 12 and you can kind of notice, a little, I could notice a difference after I uploaded it. When I was actually filming the stories, I didn't, I couldn't really tell, but then I did a little poll saying, can you notice the difference? And a lot of people said that the 11 looked better. And I was just saying that, remember last time when the new phone came out, everyone was freaking out because it was really zoomed and like blurry and it kind of looked like a Samsung. No offense if you have a Samsung, but like, you know, the vibe when they like do stories, you can tell that it's not an iPhone. It's like not the best qual, you know? Anyways, so um, yeah, I'm thinking Instagram needs to like update so it's compatible with the new phone because it's obviously like too good, you know, like for stories, but um, the back camera of it is like amazing. Like I was just like taking a few photos and you can definitely notice a difference. Um, but yeah, like I love it. And I'm gonna obviously be keeping this one as well cause like it's my jazz handmade phone now. And like, even if I just need an extra phone for something. Um, but yeah, I'm planning on just having like work on this one. Um, and then like personal phone, I guess for the new phone. Um, I was using my eight for my work phone. I wasn't really using it that much because it was so shit and slow and the battery was shit. So now I'm gonna, yeah, be definitely using both phones for work, like one for work, one for like personal. So yeah, that's a little review on it. I'm sure you'll see photos on the gram, but I did also wanna show you, this got delivered today. So um, I obviously went and answered the door and it said, Peter Lizzie. And I said, oh, did you order some new shoes? Cause it said, um, you can see me in the background. Um, Cause it said JD Sports. I'm like taking a seat here. That's way too short. Um, yeah, it said JD Sports. And I was like, oh, did you order new shoes? And then I was just like, what the hell? You didn't even tell me. Like usually like you ask me my opinion. So I was like, oh, what shoes did you get? And she's like, he's like, oh, just open them. Like I'm eating. So I did. And they were these. And I was like, wait, was I meant to open them? And he's like, yeah, it was just a little present. Like it's not meant to be for Christmas or anything. I just saw them on the website and bought them. If you guys have like watched my vlogs and everything, you guys know that I'm obsessed with the Oswegos by Adidas. They literally are so freaking comfy. If you have wide feet, they're for you. 
Um, but yeah, they're literally the comfiest shoes. You can wear them like casually with like whatever, or you can wear them to the gym. Sometimes I wear them to the gym, but I freaking love the design and how freaking cute, baby pink. So he bought me them, bless. Um, we also did film a TikTok as well. I'll show you, it's so funny. I had to jump on the trend. Oh, it's installing still on my new phone. Um, but like, yeah, Peter doesn't really like go on social media as much. Like he has it, but he just like, kind of just like watches people's videos. So when I said, can you please film this with me? He, and he said, yes, I was like, wait, really? Cause I honestly expected him to be like, no way. Like that's not my thing. I, you know, I hate that shit. And I was like, oh my God, that's so much fun. So then I made up some like, would you rather things? If you like are on TikTok and you watch TikTok, you'll probably know, but basically it's like a trend going around where you and your friend or like you and your partner um, film like a little TikTok and you put like healthy eating or KFC or you put like, what else did I put? If you prefer brunettes or blondes and like it's meant to be like funny. Um, so yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> Short and sweet. Um, I don't even know if I was meant to like put that song in, so I might have to mute it. If I muted that, it's probably because it'll be flagged for copyright and then YouTube would demonetize my video, which is not a vibe. Um, but yeah, <laughs> just a funny little video. So we did that yesterday. What else did we do yesterday? Yeah, we went to the shops. He bought some new like gym shorts. I didn't really get anything. I didn't find what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here because I need to edit it. Oh, actually, should I show you guys what is gonna be a part of the new Christmas collection? I just realized because you'll obviously be watching this on Monday and everything restocks on Friday. You know what, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna like go and get some like nice, like a nice sheet and like put them Wait, what can I use? One sec, I'm gonna lay out all the products for the new Christmas collection. I've been wearing the angel pendant necklace to death. I'm obsessed. Yeah, let me actually go show you because I'll do a really quick recap of what we'll have on the website on Friday. By the way, for those that are gonna ask, this top I bought off a random Facebook ad. Literally, I feel like Facebook ads are freaking creepy. It was from some dodgy website somewhere in China, I think, or something, but it literally took three months to arrive. I completely forgot about it. And I received it like the other day and I was like, didn't I order this in like June? Literally. So I have no idea. And there's no brand on it like at all. No, it just, it's like some brand that just print, print stuff on tops. And I cropped it because it was like a long top. But yeah, I have absolutely no idea. I even tried to go back in my PayPal and I think like, <laughs> it's weird. It wasn't like a proper brand. Like, you know, those like Dodge things that pop up and you just, I don't know, sometimes buy them. Well, I did. That's where this is from, but maybe try typing Dior Angel Tea or something. But yeah, beware. It takes about three, four months to arrive. I honestly thought they scammed me. <laughs> okay, I hope this is displayed nicely. <laughs> So we've got our Amour bangles in silver, rose gold, and then gold vermeil. I'll show you guys how they unclip. I think I might have to put you on some sort of tripod or something. Let's have a look to see if I can somehow. So they've got a clip on one side and you just push it up. And then to put them on, I will show you. I am wearing the middle one now, but I prefer the smallest one because this is what the middle one looks like on me wow don't mind my tan um so this is how you put it on chuck it on like that and then you just lift up this bit and it just like slots in i'm pretty sure this one's the middle size as well but how freaking cute are they i'm obsessed just lift it up again gently and then it just clips off like that 
So because these are all made from a sterling silver base, hence why they're called Vermeil, um, they are quite bendable and like you can like pretty much shape them to like however you want. So if you find that your clasp like over time or if you take it off and it like looks like this, see how it just like bent it up? Um, and then you go to try and clasp it and it's like not clasping. All you have to do is just bend it to around there. The more you bend it down, the tighter the clasp will be. So this is probably like ideal. This is what you want your bangle to look like before you put it on. Because then when you put it on, it's like a firm um, clasp, if that makes sense at all. So yeah, when you take it off, just gently remove it and see how like when I've taken it off, because it kind of just like molds to wherever you're putting it. So just make sure if you did want a really tight clasp you just bend it down ever so slightly and then when you put it on it's like a really tight firm clip so that is our Amour bangles absolutely stunning and then we have the round bangles as well I wear the small um on my wrist because I like when it's like quite fitted so that's what the small bangle looks like in gold. And then this one's the middle one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. The middle. And then this is the largest in rose gold. All the measurements and like the circumference measurements are on the website under size guide. Um, so you'll be able to find out what your perfect size is or whatever you prefer. But yeah, that is the biggest middle and then the smallest bangle. Next is the angel ring. I'm obsessed. I wear the gold one all the time. And then we also obviously have rose gold. How pretty are these? Super cute and dainty. And if your name's Angel, what a bonus, but I am obsessed with these rings. I'm obsessed with these. So these are our angel pendant necklaces and they're on the Figaro chain. The pendants can actually come off. So if you want to wear this necklace like on its own, you can take this off. Or if you've got another necklace that you want to put the pendant on, you can. So I made sure that you could remove it. So we've got gold for May, sterling silver, and then rose gold. But I'm actually wearing mine right now. I, I think this is one of my favorites of the new collections. Obsessed. Okay, guys, these necklaces are so pretty so these are the angel energy chokers so they are 14 to 16 inch and that's the only length available because they are made to sit on the neck so we've got gold verme rose gold verme and sterling silver absolutely obsessed and it has a little bit of a thicker chain but i just think it looks incredible so we've got those ones as well i also do have photos of all of these on our instagram if you want to check them out but i just want to show you guys okay so the little surprise That'll be added are these little mini vanity stacker rings. I am obsessed with stacking them on my middle finger. You can either wear them on their own, like on my ring finger, but they'll come in silver, rose gold, and gold verme. I have the gold verme here and then the rose gold on my ring finger. I'll take them off and show you guys, but they are so cute. How gorgeous are they? Oh my goodness. They're literally a mini version of the vanity rings. So they will be available also and sizes 5 to 11 again in all three materials. Okay, so another style of ring we're going to have are these link rings, which I haven't actually mentioned on my Instagram before, but they're literally links. So it's just like a little mini necklace i am obsessed with it i've been literally wearing mine since i got the samples months ago and then i recently just got this one which is like a cuban style it's just perfect for stacking and just like i just love dainty little rings so yeah they literally are like loose links so they're not like you on the website like the photos it looks like a proper round solid ring but it's not basically because it's a chain link and it's not like a really accurate size. I've done four to five, six to seven, eight to nine, and then 10 and 11. I wear the six to seven on this finger, which does make sense because I can actually fit a six and a size seven. Like the seven is a little bit more loose fitted, whereas the six is like more snug. But these, um, both of these are in six to seven. 
they just slip on and you just roll them on if you're wanting a more like uh, fitted look or like fitted ring then definitely just go like your normal size I think this one's like an eight to nine because it doesn't fit all the way like it's a bit loose but it just depends on what type of look you want but yeah these will also be on the website in all colors and then we have the Clio hoops if it wants to focus that's what they look like close up if you can see it it's got little cubic zirconias on them but like they're little sparkles it's so cute so they come in rose gold vermeil gold vermeil and sterling silver as well love these ones i have them in right now this is what they look like in the ear so i've got them in my first lobes and i've got the 12 mil sleeper sample and then that's our paris sparkle stud we've got them in the clip backs which you can get in a pair and then the ball backs if you're wanting to wear them in the low, but they're just a little bit more comfortable to sleep in. And then you can obviously wear the ball backs in the tragus, helix, conch, wherever in the ear that you want. And then this is just our, um, this is actually a ball back just because I prefer to sleep in these butterfly helix stud. And then that's a little sample J charm. I'm obsessed, but that's what they look like on the ears. Hey guys, oh, I've got makeup on my top. I'm a big hot mess. Look at my hair. I look like I haven't slept in about a freaking week. My eyes are actually sore because I've been looking at the computer literally all day. I've been doing the website, um, but I'm pretty much done. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Excited about the launch on Friday. Thank God next week is a little bit less stressful than this past week. I felt like this week was the busiest ever. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.